While it's true there are pockets of rebellion, there has never been any evidence of a larger scale galaxy-wide operation. And I would like to keep it that way, Admiral Constantine. Grand Admiral Thrall. Grand Admiral? The Emperor recently promoted me after my victory at Batone. Civilian casualties outnumbered the insurgents at the time. Acceptable margins, Agent Callus, for there are no longer rebels in that sector. Well, Thrawn, what do you think of Governor Price's theory about the rebels in the Lothal sector? This is a pirate our rebels rescued from Naraka prison, Honda Onaka. Within the last hour, the Phoenix Squadron destroyed mining guild ships using the Zurita hyperspace waypoint. Taken separately, they may seem unrelated, but Onaka's cellmate was a laborer at our Starfighter Reclamation plant in the Yama system, one jump point away from the Zerida attack. Grand Admiral Thrawn believes the rebels intend to raid the plant and steal fighters for their fleet. Every ship they add to their arsenal increases a threat to our own Amada and the Emperor's plans. I trust you have a solution. I will start my operations here and pull the rebels apart piece by piece. They'll be the architects of their own destruction. We have the Admiral. Put him through. Update me on your progress, Governor. The situation is proceeding much as you anticipated. The rebel fleet, composed of three star cruisers, have come to the rescue. That is not the Rebel fleet. Break off your attack and allow them to escape with their meager reward. Very good, Grand Admiral. We're letting them get away? I don't understand. I know you don't. But rest assured, Thrawn has a much larger objective in mind than the capture of a single Rebel cell. Out of the way, servant! Uh -oh. You are not permitted on these floors. I have told you people, restrict your movements to the kitchen. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Just a moment. Guards, bring her here. May I see that? I'm a visitor to your world. It occurs to me it might be beneficial to hear what you have to say about our imperial occupation. I don't think I could be of any help to you. No, oh, I disagree. Bring her to your office for questioning. Please, I am a poor refugee. Captain, do you recognize this? Yes, it, it was here, in my office. I thought I could sell it for food. My family is starving. No excuse. You shall make a valuable example to others of your kind who think to steal from the Empire. She's far more valuable than you realize. Uh, how do you mean? To defeat an enemy, you must know them. Not simply their battle tactics, but the history. Philosophy. Art. So I will ask you again, Captain. Do you know what this is? Some primitive native trinket. It's a Kalikori. A revered twilight heirloom, passed from parent to child through generations. Worthless to outsiders, priceless to family. Yes, well... She stole it. Yes, but why? War. It's all you ever known, isn't it? You were so young when you survived the Clone War. No wonder you are as equipped in spirit to fight as well as you do. War is in your blood. I study the art of war, work to perfect it, but you, you were forged by it. Sir, she's just a peasant! It doesn't matter where we come from, Admiral. Our will to be free is what's going to beat you. You! 
You dare! Slavin, please. You embarrass me in front of our host. Host? What? May I introduce Hera Syndulla, rebel pilot, freedom fighter, and military leader. Daughter of your nemesis, Jam Syndulla. Because rebels have friends always rushing to the rescue. An unexpected pleasure to meet you, Captain Hera Sindela. Wish I could say the same, Admiral. It is a pity our first encounter might, well, be our last. I will keep your Calicori in a place of honor. If I knew you'd take it, I would have smashed it when I had the chance. You surprise me. Is your history worth so little to you? My family legacy belongs to us alone. It is not for some collector's curiosity. What did you say? Forgive him. I thank you for your hospitality. Have the Calicori transported to my ship. We should just destroy that piece of Twi'lek trash. <laughs> My apologies, Captain Slavin. I forgot not everyone is able to appreciate art as I do. Now, if you excuse me, I'm conducting an experiment that requires my attendance. They are in range, sir. Hold your fire. They've earned their victory today. Admiral, the rebels are getting away! Oh, not to worry, Captain. I've found this whole experience to be very... Enlightening. The blockade over Sinistag is proceeding as planned. Martial law has been declared on Maikapo, but a small pocket of resistance continues to be troublesome. Maikapo has no armed militia or starfighter corps. What resistance is there to be so troublesome? One ship calling themselves the Iron Squadron recently attacked an advanced patrol with the aid of this rebel vessel. Ah, the ghost. They're likely evacuating the Tresoner's inhabitants before we can arrest them. As for this Iron Squadron, very curious. Admiral Constantine, go to my cabo and lock down the system. I will deploy a squadron of ships. No, Admiral. I want you to handle it yourself. A single light cruiser should be more than sufficient for a man of your talents. You would send me in one ship? Unless you're not up to it. I will leave immediately. Admiral Constantine, you call for assistance. Quite the contrary, Admiral. I was contacting you to report the rebels have been driven from this system. I assume you mean the rebels and their sympathizers escaped. Agent Callus, make sure the workers are all present and accounted for. Yes, Governor Price. Callus has a new boss. Must be the one Sabine told us about. Look sharp. This factory is being honored by a surprise visit from Imperial High Command. Thank you for the introduction, Agent Callus. My visit is not an honor, however, but an investigation. Thrawn. Vehicles assembled in this factory malfunction at a rate far higher than that of others. I believe poor craftsmanship is to blame, and it has cost your empire troops and missions. This will not be tolerated. Worker 5473, you were pressed into the Empire service? Yes, sir. After losing my farm. Do you stand by your work? I do. This 624AVA is the last bike you personally inspected and assembled. Please, demonstrate for me how quickly it can achieve full speed. 
we don't have all day. Back in line. Something's wrong. It's overheating. Gonna have to shut it down. No. The demonstration is not yet over. I can't stop it! Now that I have your attention, know this. Whatever you build here, you will test personally. I expect your malfunction rate to drop substantially. code cylinder confirms our suspicions. He used it to override security. Release the prisoner and contact the rebels. I have my own proof of List's treachery. Thank you for your brave actions, Agent Callis. Well done. Unfortunately, not in time to stop him from an assassination attempt on the Admiral. My apologies, sir. None required. He did not succeed. The Empire will make a note of your service, Agent Callis. You may go. Thank you, Grand Admiral. Things have fallen into place a little too perfectly for my liking, and I don't think Lieutenant List is capable of what you've accused him of. I agree. Sir, the prisoner's effects have arrived, as you requested. Colonel Yularen, what do you think of this design? A beast of some kind. A stylized expression of a Lothcat, a ubiquitous native of Lothal, and rendered by a very familiar artist. The use of this specific color, the angle of the line, this is the work of the rebel Sabine Wren. I believe this helmet belongs to her compatriot, the young Jedi, and I escaped prisoner, Ezra Bridger. Bridger? If Bridger was the shuttle thief, why didn't Callus alert us? Because, Colonel Yularen, Callus is the rebel spy, Fulcrum. He used List's cylinder to impersonate and implicate him. And more importantly, he used the young Jedi's power to gain access to my office and reprogram my droids. Very skillfully, I might add.